Oh, yeah. And another thing. And this is another thing where we just give it to you raw, like like Method Man says. When you give it to me, baby, give it to me raw. Well, that's what we do here. And we're going to give the MVP, sponsored by Kia in the NBA, a raw take. And that is Giannis Antetokounmpo deserves that award. I don't think you heard me, so I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo deserves that award. Yes, he deserves to be the 2020 Most Valuable Player sponsored by Kia, delivered by the NBA. And why is that, you may ask? It's really simple, man. I mean, he was 27 and 13 when he won the award last year. And now he is 30, 14, and 6 this year. I mean, he improved so drastically and so fast that not only not only were they the best team in the league during the regular season, but he was the he was by far the most consistent player. Now, I mean, you had you had those who were in the mix and I'll I'll show you some who were in the mix. You had James Harden of the Rockets, you had of course LeBron James for the Lakers. Kawhi Leonard wasn't so much of a mix for the Clippers. You had, of course, uh, Nikola Jokic for the Nuggets. Not so much of a mix, really. But you also had Luka Doncic. You had some pretty stout competition there, but none shined most consistently than Giannis Antetokounmpo. None of them did. And the reason why none of them did is because they didn't really have what Giannis had. He had the pressure of trying to be better than he was the year before. And he was fueled by not making it to the World Championship Series, as he used to call it before 1986, or the NBA Finals, which is what they call it now. And he wanted to hoist more than just that trophy. And he also wanted to hoist more than just the Defensive Player of the Year trophy, which he also got a chance to hoist this year as well and it put him in select comp well being a multiple time mvp put him in select company but this particular one put him in select company being the defensive player of the year and the mvp there's only two that i can think of that won it the same year 1988 it was michael jordan 1994 it was akim olajuwon and now in 2020 it's Giannis antetokounmpo and it is a joy to see him hoist this trophy and be better than the others who were on that list. And they were great players and it was great performances, but he stood out the most. Now, what I'm understanding is people are griping so hard, so hard about, well, LeBron James got robbed. You've got to be joking me. That the NBA system of voting for MVP is flawed. You've got to be joking me. And to and it should be you taking you take into account the playoffs and not just the regular season. You've got to be joking me. I really wish I was, Billy, but that's just the truth of it all. If you don't understand that any and all sports. MVP voting is for the regular season, then something is afoot and wrong, or something is askew with you because the NFL votes on what uh, 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 an NFL player did in the regular season. The hockey's MVP votes on what they did in the regular season. The AL and NL MVPs in baseball vote on what they did in the regular season. And the NBA votes on what a player did in the regular season. Now, should the playoffs be in effect in, in determining who should be the most valuable player? Doesn't have to be. 
because there's another award for that called the finals MVP. Because normally that award is given to the guy who played the best throughout the playoff stretch. I, I find it laughable. And then on top of it, people say that LeBron, he should get the award because he's 35 and he's putting up 25, 7, and 11. And that's remarkable. And it's, it's, <laughs> It's something that has never been done before. You've got to be joking me. Let me see. Let me think. Hmm. I think there was a player who was 35 and he won the All-Star MVP. He won the MVP. He won a championship and he won the finals MVP. And he scored 35 points that year. Oh, yes. Michael Jeffrey Jordan did it 22 years earlier. So you cannot tell me that LeBron deserves a participation trophy because he's 35 and he's able to dribble a basketball and score 25 points, pull down seven bo boards, and give you 11 dimes. Because... There has already been a player who's done it better than he has at 35. Oh! Stop taking this young man's shine. Giannis deserves the credit. He worked hard to improve his game from last year to this year, and he succeeded. From 27 and 13, with I think three and a half assists to 30, 14, and six. This guy wants to be known as an all around player. And oh, by the way, not only did he put up the stats offensively, he put up the stats defensively, yet you all want to sleep on him. Not saying you VIP, but many NBA fan wants to sleep on this guy because <laughs> He's not 35 in doing this. He doesn't have to be 35. He just has to be the best player in the game. And unfortunately, today, the best player in the game is him. Now, did he make it to the finals? No. He got bounced in the conference semifinals thanks to the Jimmy Butler led Miami Heat. But I will say this again the MVP voting is not predicated on the postseason. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, VIP. I have to say this to people who simply can't grasp the concept because I, I think you have to break it down in small, biteable chunks. So I'll do it one more time. <laughs> the MVP of the National basketball association as presented by kia does not pre is, is not predicated on post season play it is predicated on regular season play only so for most years how you do from middle of October to the middle of April is how you determine the success rate of a basketball player and how he would get an MVP awarded to him. Not that you see him wow the crowd from mid-April on to June and say, well, he should have been MVP. Look at how he played in the playoffs. The voting ends as soon as the regular season ends. It's that simple. but. To many who just simply want to gripe, it's not. But I will say this one last time. The proper man got the award, and it is this man, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He deserves this award. I'm so glad he got it, and congratulations to you, big fella. You definitely do deserve it. And I deserve to hear what you have to say. So like this video, comment below, am I wrong? Should the MVP be LeBron James or James Harden or Luka Doncic or anybody else in the NBA? Or am I right in saying that Giannis Antetokounmpo deserves to have that award? 
And it's a special year because he won Defensive Player of the Year as well. Either way, I want to hear what you have to say because it's important to me. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel to get any content whatsoever from And Another Thing on the Daily, Cold Sports, or any other content that this channel, my channel, provides. And that's all, that's all the time I have. Thank you so much. I really do enjoy you. And quite frankly, this man deserves his props. Give Ante <laughs> Tocuopo his props. He is the greatest player in today's game right now, period. See you next time.